Good evening, night, or wherever you're time traveling, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Grab a blanket, grab your teddy bears, grab something to eat, turn off them lights. Because we're here talking about urban legends today. And today's urban legend we're talking about is Slender Man. Now, Slender Man, I haven't talked about him for a year. Last time I talked about him was last year when I first moved into my apartment, which is very ironic. I just moved into my house, and we're talking about Slender Man again. So yeah, without further ado, guys, we're going to talk about Mr. Slender Man. Now, what Slender Man is, what we be doing with Slender Man, we don't know. So, let's talk about it. Mr. Slender Man is known to be the tall, lengthy type of creature with a suit, no face, Tentacles fall out of his backs and kidnap children. Now, when he kidnaps the children, he basically, how he kidnaps them is basically he mind controls them. Make, make them believe that they have to do what they got to do to get into his area. Got to make him believe that he got to do what this and that and that and that and this to get to his area. So, Mr. Slenderman is basically... Um, yeah, he basically kind of cons them into doing what they got to do. Um, first things first, you probably heard of Slender Man from the famous Slender Man games, Slender Man the Eight Pages, Slender Man Arrival, where you find the Eight Pages and all that stuff. That's probably where you guys hear a lot about Mr. Slendy himself. That's where a lot of urban legends of Mr. Slendy himself comes into. A lot of them. Um, there's also a lot of other stuff that Mr. Slendy pops into and everything like that. So, yeah, it, it, it's something else. Mr. Slendy is everywhere and can be everywhere. With his teleportation powers, he can pop from one side of the room to the other side of the building. Now, Mr. Slenderman is also another uh, urban legend where he can basically... You basically can't get away from him unless you collect all eight pages and all that stuff and escape and everything like that. And then, and then, and then, he decides on stop. Uh, he decides on not following you anymore because as soon as you collect all eight pages, he's like, "Oh, you're done. Forget it. Forget you." And he leaves. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, how Mr. Slenderman started was. Um, if you look at, if you look, if you type up Slender Man in Google, you'll see a lot of older pictures of a man standing in the background watching children either playing on the playground or getting picked their picture taken in, in front of their houses or at school or anything like that. And you will just see this tall, lengthy character in the background. Now, Mr. Slender Man got his start up by a nice man. I don't remember his name, but he got his start up. Just by this guy just putting Mr. Slenderman in those pictures to make them creepy. Mr. S if you look up those actual pictures, there's not Slenderman's nowhere to be found. The guy put Slenderman in there to make him creepy. Didn't give him a name or anything like that. The internet gave Slenderman the name Slenderman. So, yeah. So when the internet gave Slenderman the name Slenderman, it's everything started rolling, balls started whirling, stinking cats started going, and all that stuff. Now, when all that stuff starts going down, in comes the Slenderman games, in comes the Slenderman urban legends, in comes the Slenderman creepy pastas. Everyone's just having ball, having a ball with this. It got so po so much to the point where Slenderman even got two movies and a couple of indie movies as well um a lot of people are like holy crap this slender man character is something else we gotta keep get going with it we're gonna keep the ball rolling um so that's basically how mr slender man got a name for himself is due to the internet being the internet and just grabbing something and stretching it they saw these pictures on the internet and be like, yo, bet. We're going to take that. And we're just going to roll with it. So, yeah, that's Slenderman, guys. I'm sorry it's such a short video, but 
I don't have much on, like, I have a lot of, like, a lot of stuff on Silver Man is still basically the same, and I just basically summarized it there. And, yeah, Mr. Slenderman, he's so a big, iconic creature to this day. A lot of people actually consider him the new form version of the Boogeyman. And, actually, a lot of people, a lot of um, were, um, countries and religion had Slenderman as a thing, as the Boogeyman. You know, Slenderman is basically the Boogeyman of, I guess, the United States, I guess, or, like, of the Internet, I think that's what it's, that's his name, the boogeyman of the internet. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. But anyway, guys, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys like what we do on this channel. If you guys have any other urban legends, mysteries, or anything like that you want me to do for Friday, urban le uh, for urban legend Fridays, let me know down in the comment section down below. And yeah, love you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video. Stay classy, my friends.